tis I, Paula Gardner. Oops. <laughs> Here I am. Tis I, Paula Gardner, with Tuesday's Grace. Thinking, talking, feeling about the miracle of death. We're all very familiar with the miracle of life. We watch it every time we see winter turn into spring. We've all held or at least been around newborns. We can feel and hear and touch the miracle of life. A couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege and honor of being present for what my friend Lisa calls the miracle of death. My dad, who was a vibrant 98 years old, had a major stroke at the beginning of March, excuse me, <clears throat> and early the following morning, the doctor and I were sure that we would be talking about hospice for him. My dad was looking intently over my shoulder and I was convinced that he was communicating with the angels. I told him they were there to help him do whatever it was he decided or would decide to do. He apparently chose to stay. He rallied and he worked really hard to regain the use of his right side and his speech. And over the course of the month, he had at least one other stroke. And then on Tuesday, before he passed into God's arms, he had a stroke and after that became very relaxed and peaceful. The morning that God welcomed him, I prayed over him, I sang over him, I caressed his head and his arm. I was hoping he could feel my presence. And when he breathed, I knew it was his last and I had no words until my friend Lisa called it the miracle of death. I feel very blessed. I feel very grateful to have witnessed this miracle. And it has since dawned on me that it's possible, probable, that each one of us at the moment of our death whether it's over time or happens super fast, like in an accident, the time ceases to exist the way we know it on this earth. <clears throat> that there's a miracle of death that happens in each of us, for each of us. It can't be witnessed because it happens inside. We don't understand we don't understand the time because it happens in what I'm going to call a different dimension than we're used to. It's not like the miracle of life because we can see life. The miracle of death happens without witnesses, without earthly witnesses anyway, and no one can tell us about it unless they can, and I'm not getting those messages, but it is an indescribable event a phenomenon filled with immediate understanding, profound peace, and immense gratitude, and filled with so much life force that it defies description. So I, I invite you to think about the people you love who have died and to understand that they traveled this journey and that it was truly a journey of light and love. And whether it happened in one earthly second or over one earthly year, it's a process that can only be described as a miracle. All that you do, do it with joy.